welcome to Sharing the Journey. You're with Dr. Des and Ross Sinclair. Today we're going to be reading from Daniel, Daniel chapter 10, verses 8 to 14. Now this is quite a long scripture, so if you just bear with me, I'm going to read it for you now. Daniel t- chapter 10, verses 8 to 14. Okay. So I was left alone, watching this great vision. Mm. I lost my strength and my face turned white like a dead person, Mm. and I was helpless. And then I heard the man in the vision speaking. Mm. As I listened, I fell into a deep sleep with my face on the ground, and then a hand touched me and set me on my hands and my knees. Mm. I was so afraid that I was shaking, and the man in the vision said to me, Daniel, God loves you very much. Think carefully about the words that I will speak to you, and stand up, Amen. because I have been sent to you. Hallelujah. And when he said this, I stood up, but mm. I was still shaking. Amen. And then the man said to me, Daniel, do not be afraid. Mm. Some time ago, you decided to get understanding and to humble yourself mm-hmm. before your God. And since Amen. that time, God has listened to you. Amen. And I have come because of your prayers. But the Prince of Persia has been fighting against me for 21 days. But then Michael, one of the most important angels, came to help me because I had been left there with the King of Persia. And now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people because the vision is about a time in the future. Amen. 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 Wow, that's quite a long scripture, and there's a lot that was said to Daniel, and a lot we can take from that. Um, Des, how can we relate to this long scripture about Daniel seeing this vision and what was said? How can we relate to that today? Yeah, Roz, I think um, the scripture in Daniel was so uh, profound, and it's really yeah. prophetic. <laughs> Very. It's a prophetic message <laughs> yes. to um, us all, even all today. All of us. All of us. And. Um, but in that, Roz, yes. I mean, there's so many key principles mm. about um, God hearing us. And also, um, we see there that um, it spoke about that um, the Lord said to Daniel, yes. sorry, the angels of the Lord said to said Daniel, to Daniel yes. that um, you had humbled yourself um, yes. and began to pray. Yeah, that's now, a key, hey? Amen. Yeah. That, that is certainly a key. Yeah. Because so often... I mean, um, God cannot act and, and hear our prayers because we are the problem. We are the problem. And, and it's he, not God, where are you? But it's we are the problem. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so true, Des. And, you know, so here we see the angel of the Lord said to Daniel, because you yeah. have begin, begun to pray. Yes. And out of prayer, yes. prayer will humble you. It will. <laughs> if, no, let me say this, Ros. Yeah. <laughs> if you are praying for God's will to be done. Th- th- this is the key. Yeah, this is the you know, key. It's not you and your tick list, Exactly. Is it? It's not yeah. you and your BMW, ah. your, your new Ferrari. Mm-hmm. It's, and your it's, beach house. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, so often, you know, that's the prayers that God gets all the time. And I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, Ross. Yeah. I mean, God wants to bless us of course exceedingly he does. beyond what we could imagine and comprehend. Absolutely. I mean, because we, we, have an, we are ears of a royal inheritance. Yeah. I mean, John's Absolutely. very clear. John chapter 1, verse yeah. 8 onwards. You and know? As, even as he said to Daniel, because God loves you so much. And that still Amen. applies to us. Ab- absolutely. Unbelievable. So, you know, I have no problem with God wanting to bless us no. and, um, and meet, you know, but the Bible says, seek thee first, yes, the, kingdom the kingdom of, of God, God and his righteousness. There we go. And I will add go. all these things all unto these you. Things. So, you know, yeah. I, I just want to say this, that, I mean, number one, if there are delays in why God is not answering your prayers, mm. number one, the first thing we need to do is humble ourselves. Yeah. And pray. <laughs> that's number one. Number one. Not number ten. Number one. <laughs> Amen. I mean, that's... when all else fails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because you know, and usually the sad reality is, Rosa, when we've tried everything ourselves, yeah, and, and and it's not working, and we're desperate. <laughs> yeah. Then usually then, we we humble ourselves and we cry out to then God we and remember say, him. <laughs> you know, and then we actually come with a right spirit. 
you know, and with a right go. attitude towards yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and um, here we see the angels of the Lord said to Daniel, even though yes. Daniel was called and anointed by God, he was. yet Incredibly. the angel said to him, yes. because you have begin, mm. begun to pray. Yes, and humble yourself. And you have humbled yourself. Yes, and you um, sought the Lord. Yeah, that, that is when God is able to yes. intervene mm. and hear your requests. Amen, amen. Amen. And I mean, that, that's so simple, but it's so profound. <laughs> we make it so complicated, don't we? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> especially when we bring our tick list first. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. But I, I think here, uh, you know, also if we go to the New Testament yes. laws, in Ephesians chapter 6, yes. verses 12, and um, we all know it well out there, but um, Paul is addressing, uh, and this is through the New Testament, through grace. Okay. Um, but Paul says in Ephesians 6, 12, yes. for our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against mm. principalities, against rulers, yes. against spiritual forces, forces. Yeah. in the heavenly realm. That's true. And so Paul was declaring to the believers yes. that um, we are engaged in a mm. spiritual battle. Constantly. Constantly. Yeah. I mean, and if we, we understand that uh, Satan, the devil himself, mm. and a third of the angels, Angels yeah. were cast out of heaven mm. where God is and where God dwells now yes. and they were descended to the first heaven mm. now the first heaven refers to this earth that we are upon now okay and so in that that's why Paul is able to say in Ephesians 6 yeah. that we are all engaged in a spiritual battle everyone because mm. fallen angels are demon spirits of course and yes. the devil's playground is the earth All that we live us. upon. I yes. mean, you know, in saying that, the devil does not have full dominion no and way. any authority over a son or a daughter of God. Remember that. Amen. Amen. And, and that's a key thing. Because if we look, um, you know, we know all about Job in the Old Testament. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, yeah, he went yes, through hell and high water, didn't uh, he? Yeah, it was not lacquer. No way. <laughs> but in saying that, you know, the devil had to come to God and ask God's permission go. if he could test yeah. or sift if he was allowed. You know, yeah. him before he could have the permission to do so. That's right. So we need to um, not lose heart. Understand mm -hmm. that um, the devil does not have um, the authority over your life because you are covered, Amen. you are sanctified, yes. you are justified, are. you are pardoned by the righteous blood of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And through the righteous blood of Jesus, Ross, that means the devil cannot just do whatever he wants no to way. play with us. He is under our feet. He is under our feet, but the key That's is this. It. He has to get permission from God himself. That's it. Now you may say out there and the viewers may say, yeah, but that's under the Old Testament, the law of Moses. Yeah. How does that apply in the New Testament? Well, ah. if we, we look in the, in the book of Luke, yeah. we see the example even with the apostles. That's true. Um, the apostle Peter, it speaks about that Peter had pride in his heart. Yes. I mean, and um, the, uh, the apostles started arguing among yeah. themselves yeah. because um, Jesus said he's going to leave them. Yeah. And so they said, well, who's going to be in charge who's if leaving? Jesus goes? Yes. Who's going to become the new head pastor yeah, of the, the church? <laughs> so Peter, yeah. you know, was, was very bold and Peter stated his case. But the key is this, you know, when you state your case, I yeah. mean, with pride in your heart, that is when the devil has yeah. a right to pick up on that. And um, we see there in Luke's yeah. gospel that, um, you know, Satan came to Jesus himself. Yeah. And he, and he, and he asked Jesus for permission mm. to sift Peter, Simon Peter, like wheat. Yeah. But uh, Jesus came to Simon Peter and yeah. said to him, yeah. Simon, Simon, Satan has come to me yes. and asked, asked me, me whether yes. he can sift you like wheat. Yeah. I will pray for you, Simon, right. that your faith will not fail you. Yeah. But when you are restored, go and strengthen your brothers. Right. And so bringing it back then to Daniel, what did Daniel do? He didn't state his case before the Lord, but he came humbly. He, Amen. he he put on a cloak of humbleness. He emptied himself. Amen. All his pride and arrogance and That's everything right. that was not of God. That's right. He first came and emptied all mm. that garbage. Absolutely. Away. Yes. Before he came. That's right. In humbleness to 
bring his requests before the Lord. Amen. And in and, and the same way, we need to do that ourselves. We get so caught mm-hmm. up in, in me, myself, and I, and my tick list, and God, I need right. this, and I need That's that, so and true. you're not helping me here, and you need mm-hmm. to do this for me. Yes. <sighs> Who do we think we are? <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're... Daniel came first and humbled himself. Amen. You and know, God heard his prayer. Amen. Well, I mean, the Bible says also in, in Jeremiah 29, yes. verse 12. Yes. And, and we all know the scripture, you know, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares there the Lord, go. plans to prosper mm. you and not to harm you, plans yes. to give you a hope and a future yes. in me. Then you will come and pray to me. There we go. And I will come down and, and listen, listen to, to you. you. There if we go. you seek me with, with all, all your, your heart, heart yes, I will be found will by be you, found by declares you. the Lord. Amen. And there that is go. so profound. Yeah. It says, if you seek me with all your heart. All your heart. And that, what that means is a pure heart. That's correct. Not a heart that is da, coming da, da, with da, da, conditions, da, da, da. Yep. but a pure heart as worship unto God. True. Then he says that I will come down. Yes. And I will listen to you. I will listen to you. Amen. (laughs) And I mean, Rosa, in in our lives, but also I can only speak for myself. I mean, but you know, uh, so often... I mean, when, when people are following you and yeah. it's, it's people are always wanting to praise you for what God is doing, yeah. um, you know, it's very easy to get sneered into a trap, um, you That's know, true. that uh, pride can enter your heart. It's true. And I want to say to all of you out there, there's not one of you that is exempt from um, the sneers of pride. But the key is, uh, Daniel, a servant of the Lord, this great yeah. man of God, also yeah. had to humble himself. He did. I mean, um, we, we see the apostle, um, Simon Peter, mm-hmm. also had to humble himself. And I want to say to you that um, rather humble yourselves and keep close accounts. And you know, w- one way to do that, guys, and I want to speak to the men out there, Roz, because, okay. you know, naturally, uh, the way God has made us, a um, man can be more prone to pride and arrogance, more so tendencies than than our Macy's or the ladies out there. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything there. <laughs> you guys yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I it's mean, been stated. No, that, that, that doesn't happen with me, not at oh, all. No, I mean, no, never, no. never. <laughs> but, but I mean, seriously. Seriously. And so, guys, I'm just I'm just appealing to you out there. Yeah. You know, you're not alone. But also, guys, we need to keep short accounts and be aware of it. I mean, you know, God doesn't judge us for Mm. that, and we are free in Christ. But the key is this. You know, our pride and our Mm. our self-ambition to achieve things can um, turn into pride. And in that, that can hinder God answering your prayers. That's very true. So all I'm saying to you guys is keep... Keep awareness of that. Keep but humble. Keep humble before God. Yeah. Because rather humble yourself before God. Mm. We see uh, si- uh, Simon Peter, the Apostle Peter. I mean, you know, Satan went to Jesus. And, um, and, and it was allowed to sift him, to humble him like wheat. And so all I'm saying to you is rather let us keep ourselves humble before God, mm. because if we keep ourselves yes. humble before God, yes. then the devil has no right, no and power. the devil has no authority. The yeah. devil has no We've power. We've got a fence around ourselves. That's right. Protection, haven't we? Yeah. There's, I can remember uh, one account where you were working up in Africa at the time, where you had to humble yourself in a very specific way as well. Do you want to perhaps share with the viewers a little bit about that? Yeah, I think, Roz, you're referring to um, they were in Africa yes. um, where I was uh, captured by mercenary soldiers. Yes, um, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> one of the times. <laughs> yes. Uh, and in that, uh, for, yeah. ten, for 10 days, Yes. Um, there I was tortured uh, three times a day. Yeah. Um, and they, they took me to an old um, prison cell. Right. Um, you know. And it was really a, a terrible time in my life. I bet. And, you know, uh, yeah. my first reactions were, well, uh, you know, I'm going to convince these guys that, ah. uh, you know, they're telling me that I'm a spy, yeah. a South African military spy. That's what they were yeah. trying to tell That's me. That's right, yes. 
Um, and so I'm telling them, no, I'm not a spy. Yeah. Um, I'm a preacher of the gospel yeah. and I'm here mm. and we, we're doing projects in your country and uplifting yeah. your people. Yeah. So, you know, um, you've got the wrong man. You know, so here I was trying to present my case to them and thinking that if I uh, presented in the yeah. right way, that they're going to be convinced to let me go. And? Uh, you know, and once again, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Because, you know, I was trying to uh, yes. present my case to man yes. uh, rather than present my case to God. Yeah, big difference. There's eh? a big difference. Big difference. And so <laughs> one thing I, I, you know, have learned is that guys... We, you know, do not pres be worried about presenting your case to men, you know, but rather yeah. first be worried about presenting your go. case to God. Very good. Very and, good. And then that, that, secondly, that's it. Yep, present yeah. your case to God first. Because we fight forces <clears throat> in the heavenly, heavenly realm. realm. Amen. Yes, As you're in right. Ephesians 6.12. Amen. You're right. And then secondly, um, also present your case to God, number one. Yes. And then to your wife, number two. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> because, you know, um, when she understands where you're coming from, yes. then there's unity yep. and God commands a blessing. You're right. Uh, one can put 1,000 yeah. to flight, 1, 000, that's but right. two can standing put, together yes. in unity can Ten. put 10,000 to flight. Yes. And so you can see the difference there. Oh, yes. And so, you know, we, we need to stand in unity with our wives. I mean, and um, because when we stand together, God commands a blessing. That's correct. Yes. And there's power in that to overcome Absolutely. all things in Jesus' name. Amen. But, you know, so number one, there in Africa, yep. um, I was presenting my case, but I forgot, uh, you know, to present it to God, God first. <laughs> yeah. I thought that I would do it my way. Oh, that sounds very familiar, yeah. doesn't it, um, you know, people? <laughs> but, you know, the I bottom... we're all guilty of that one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, but the bottom line is, you know, you can do it your way, but the end of the day is you, God can't help you. His hands are tied. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, God had to humble me. Yeah. And um, God really nice. did. It was not lacquer. Not nice. Um, and uh, in all. that, um, you know, they broke my back yes. and, um, you know, I was tortured. And you were paralyzed. Paralyzed, even. yes. And in that, um, I was just crying out to God and yes. saying, God, this is not fair. I said, where are you? Yeah. You need to send the soldiers in here. Yeah. You need to kill all these guys You're around me and take them out. Yeah. I mean, they deserve whatever they get. That was my thinking <laughs> okay. at the time. Yeah. You know, that was my pride and, you know, my arrogance towards that. But you mm. see, I was out of line. Okay. My thinking was wrong. Right. Because I wasn't thinking through the eyes of God and the circumstances. No. I was thinking through the eyes of me. I'm getting my butt kicked. Yeah. I'm getting Obviously. tortured. Yeah. And this is unjust and unfair. Yeah. Very carnal. Carnal. It was yeah. all about me and yeah. my survival mode. That's it. That's and, it. And, you know, I wasn't thinking about how God saw these soldiers. Yes. And, um, you know, it was only when I, I had to realize and God spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And God said to me, you know, I've brought you here because you, you will be the only example of Jesus that these rebel soldiers will ever look upon. And their time mm. is coming to an end. And I okay. brought you here so that they can know that I love them ah. and that I forgive them so that they will not perish mm. and be separated for, from me for yeah. eternity, but rather you will speak on yeah. my behalf, okay. and they will come into my kingdom. There was a much and bigger purpose. There was a far bigger purpose yeah. for us. You see, but because I was presenting my case... Well, then you were stopping God. And I was limiting God. Yeah, totally. And so God could not do anything to help me. Until you changed your attitude, hey? Absolutely. I, 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 that's it. I had to change my attitude yeah. to the way God saw a sinner. You know, mm. the, the soldiers, it was all unjust. And yes, I was getting a hiding and getting beaten, <laughs> and I was not happy. Yeah. But in saying that, the fact is I needed to have my eyes fixed upon Jesus, right. the author and the perfecter of my faith, yeah. spoken of in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, Ros. Right, right. I mean, but my eyes were on my, my getting my survival yeah. and getting myself out of, the, out of there. Sure. And that was my prayer. That was my focus. God yeah. save me. God do everything. Yeah. But yet God says, well, um, my mm. grace is sufficient for you. Now that's quite a uh, scripture to hear. 
at that time. It's Absolutely. like, if that came on email, you'd want to delete. <laughs> delete. Delete. Yeah, no, let's go for another message somewhere. This we guy's not hearing it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we've got the wrong link here. Yeah. But that's exactly what it was, Yo, Roz. I mean, I heard that's that. That's heavy. And I just said, sorry, um, this, this can't be God. No, I don't wow. want to hear that. I mean, all I want to know is when you're sending in the cavalry, man, yeah. when you're sending in the military Yo. to get me out of here. But the fact is, but, you know, God's grace is poured out upon us because of his will and his purpose in our lives. Hmm. And, you know, we need to realign our thinking we and do. we need to always bring ourselves into the perspective of God's word. That's true. God's will mm. in every circumstance and every situation that That's we so face. True. Look, even Daniel, he had to realign himself Amen. first before he even brought his case Absolutely. to the Lord. Absolutely. He had to realign himself, he had to humble mm. himself. Amen. Yeah, Daniel had to humble himself. That's yes. so true, Ross. And um, we see there that uh, Daniel um, was was fasting and praying and there was no change in his mm. circumstances against the Prince of Persia at all for 21 days, the 21 Bible says. 21 days, my goodness, yes. That was three weeks. Yeah, it was. Um, and when the angel of the Lord appeared to him, mm. he said that um, the battle was so fierce in the spiritual realm, yeah. I mean, and um, even um, one of the higher ranking angels had to yes. come and assist. Michael, yes. Michael had to come down That's and right. assist in the battle, That's which right. was so fierce yes. that was... Um, holding back Daniel and, and being able to suppress Daniel mm. and doing what God had called him to do. And um, so, so often we, we, we give up and we lose heart just because we don't see instant there we go. breakthrough. Yeah. And, you know, I want to say to all the viewers yeah. out there, you know, don't lose heart yes. just because you have to wait. But rather, let's just pray. Yes. We're going to stand on the word Amen. because the power is in the word. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just thank you for your living word, for the word is alive, it's living, it's active. And we thank you, Lord, for your beloved people out there. Lord, all the viewers, Lord, from all over the world that are tuning in, we just, we, you love them unconditionally, Lord, and you're passionate about each one of them. Right now, I take authority over, Lord, schizophrenic tendencies, depression, anti-depression. I break that spirit of depression in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just pray against that spirit of depression. Lord, that is coming upon many men of God out there, yeah. upon many women of God out there. I speak against that spirit of depression, yes, for depression name. is not from God. It is a, through anxiety and fear, and God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound-mindedness. And I break that spirit of fear. I loose that demonic power over your Amen. lives. And I pray for freedom. I pray for boldness. I pray for new vision. And I pray for breakthrough Amen. in your lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, that even though we all have to wait for the breakthrough to come, I pray, Lord, many of the saints of God out there have been waiting longer than 21 days, longer than Daniel, even longer than Jesus for 40 days yeah. and 40 nights. But Father, we thank you right now, that stops here now. Right now, breakthrough comes, and if they will repent, if they will humble themselves and pray, like I had to humble myself and pray, and get my focus right before God, you will break through, and no longer will there be delays. And the freedom and the breakthrough is upon them now. Right now, the Lord is releasing warrior angels down to fight the battle on your behalf. Right um, now, the Lord you, is Lord. sending breakthrough in the spiritual realm, and you will see it in the physical realm, just as um, the angel attended Daniel after 21 days and spoke to him. Just as the angel of the Lord came to me after 10 days and gave me water and touched me and I was able to stand, so in the same light, the angel of the Lord and the power of the Holy Spirit will remove the obstacles from your path. And I just see out there that many people are going to see breakthrough. There's going to be great testimonies in the finances. There's going to be marriages that are on the break of divorce that are going to be restored and healed. There's going to be cancer victims. There's going to be Parkinson's victims. There's going to be people that are physically are dying and suffering with uh, sicknesses that are going to be healed. For this